Australian women are doing dramatically more housework than their boyfriends or husbands. The finding comes from Australia's most comprehensive household survey, HILDA, which collects data on how much time couples spent working. Women average about 16 hours a week of housework, whereas men average about 8 hours a week of housework. The latest data from 2011 shows women are spending more time caring for children, running domestic errands and babysitting. But the HILDA study suggests hard-working parents, both mums and dads, are the unheralded powerhouses of the Australian economy. Particularly with parents with young children are the economic powerhouses of our society. They uh, average over 75 hours a week of total work, including both paid and unpaid work. Uh, that compares with around 50-55 hours for uh, adults without children. For their part, Australian men are more likely to be found in paid employment or toiling outdoors. But perhaps Aussie men aren't doing enough manual labour, especially married men. Hilda also tracks Australians' weight loss and gain with reference to significant life events, and it finds that married blokes stack on the weight. Roughly 73% of men deemed to be overweight or obese based on their body mass index are married. This compares to just 67% of women in the same weight range. In the immediate aftermath of marriage, we actually see a slight weight decline. And uh, I, I, I suspect that has to do with looking good for the actual wedding, for the wedding day and the wedding photos. Uh, but the longer term effect seems to be uh, the opposite, that, uh, that we tend to, uh, I guess, let ourselves go to some extent. But Associate Professor Wilkins says ageing remains the single biggest factor determining a person's weight. As people age, they basically get fatter. I guess this should sound as a warning to many people that when you're putting on weight, don't just think you can readily take it off because the evidence would say otherwise. Hilda, or the Household Income and Labour Dynamics in Australia survey, to use its full name, conducts annual interviews with more than 17,000 Australians to create a moving picture of how their lives are changing. In some good news, Hilda tracked a slight rise of the female breadwinner. That's where a woman earns substantially more than her male partner. The proportion of women earning more increased from 23.5% to 24.5% of households, but men still earn the larger salary in 7 out of 10 homes. Life's changed dramatically. Uh, young women uh, enter university in as large numbers, if not greater, uh, than young men. Uh, women are going to the workforce and expecting careers. Um, so the world's changed. Professor Wooden says female breadwinner and male breadwinner households aren't mirror images of each other. The male breadwinner household, man's working full time, the female partner either not working at all or she's working part time hours. In the female house, breadwinner household, on the other hand, it's not a case of the man not working or the man working part time hours. He's typically working full time as well. Okay? It's just that in this particular case, the, the woman's earning more. Hilda also collects data on what happens at the end of a person's working life. The latest survey shows that Australians are working longer and becoming less dependent on government handouts when they do retire. Over about a 10 year period we've gone from about 66% of, of retirees income coming from the age pension and we're down to about 61%. So it's an appreciable decline but you can still see from those numbers that uh, it's, it's still far and away the most important income source for retirees. The research warns Australians are continuing to misjudge their retirement needs. The annual HILDA survey was initiated and is funded by the Australian Government.